So here I'm using a thing which is called Samsung Service Checker, and this is basically like a piece of software which interrogates the unit. Personally, I never, ever use it and have never needed to use it. It's purely for testing as far as I'm concerned. Um, sticking this on is just uh, uh, an ego trip. Um, most people don't actually really understand what most of the information says, so it's not really helping you much. Um, it's really, really good at sort of data logging, but generally, in my opinion, completely valueless as a service tool. But just to show you how it works, USB connection here um, runs around to a little cable to a box that looks like this. And this is our service checker box, and it has a little two core cable at the end. If you lose that green plug, you're in trouble. They're very hard to buy. Um, that connects over into our unit, either indoor or outdoor. I've got it connected into the F1, F2 terminals here. Get the polarity right really helps, um, makes life easy. So when you look at this box, you can see some little lights on it um, and see them flashing. When you first connect, all three flash, which is good. What I've found with this thing is that when you connect, so when it, when you start the software up, it says, how would you like to connect? And you say F1, F2. It pops up with this screen within a few seconds. If it doesn't, it is never going to work. So you need to double check that your cables and everything are good. So essentially, we're going to use this to take a snapshot of what the system looks like. It's got some quite nice stuff, things like it reads the serial number really, really simply. Um, reads all the temperatures, frequencies and so on. So it's quite nice, but all of this can be got from the remote controller or from the outdoor unit anyhow. So to be honest, I think you're wasting your time a little bit using this, but hey, it makes you look cool, I suppose. So one of the nice-ish features of this is if you look down the bottom here, you've got loads of tabs. Most of them are not for us, so they're mostly for... Um, for air conditioning units but if you go on these last two so dvmhe is basically looking at um, you can see like our water tank temperature and uh, yeah how the unit's set up and what's going on which is kind of nice so it's looking at our control box but the more impressive thing about it is if you go on dvmhe fsv it means field service values and if you look here if you're familiar with samsung field service values you you'll start seeing numbers you recognize here's a really common one um 2091 you see here so this is one where we activate a thermostat. You can actually click on this. It brings up a new screen and you can change this to yes and no in theory. Um, so yes and, and then press OK and it changes the field setting. So instead of having to do it on the remote controller, you can do it from this thing um, nice and easily. I don't know if it saves loads of time and it means getting your computer out the bag, but if you like that kind of thing, it's pretty cool. So here is a little example of the sort of thing you can do. So if I go down here to 3011DHW application, which you can see here, um, if I go onto DHW and double click it, up comes the screen. It's currently on no. So if you look on your screen of your controller, you can see that it says DHW not supported. If I go over here, I change it to yes, press OK, and literally, instantly, there it is, DHW off. So now DHW is activated. It's that easy. And again, to put it back, you can um, go to DHW, sorry, go to DHW application here, change it back to no, sorry, no, press OK, and instantly on the controller, not activated again. So it's quite a cool if you know 